This is Harmer, an FL studio. What the hell is going on? There's so many things! But this is gonna be a very basic tutorial on how just to do the basics inside of here. If you want an advanced tutorial, comment and let me know. This video is a clip from a longer video called the ABCs of FL Studio, where I tell you everything from A to Z in FL Studio. Let's get started with Harmer. So this is Harmer, and I have a little baseline drawn out just so I can show you what different things are doing. Let's start with the envelope tab, which you can get through the different tabs just by clicking here. To turn it on, you go into this little checkbox beside the attack, decay, sustain, release. If you click that, now Harmer will read this information and use it. And for some reason, when I try to change the release on the actual knob, it won't change it, so I just have to do it by clicking and dragging these points. And then if you don't like it, you just uncheck right there. And you're back to normal. Now the cool thing about this envelope thing is if you click right here, you can literally choose anything, any parameter to make an envelope with. And this is really useful, especially for filters. And speaking of filters, let me show you where the filters are. This section right here with the one and the two are your filters. You can choose between a bunch of different types. The crude low pass is basically just a low pass with a really sharp cutoff. And you can right click anything in here, like the filter for instance, and go to edit articulator. And then you can draw a filter shape. And this is basically the frequency spectrum. So the lower you go down, the lower the frequency. Also, if you wanna make a pluck without doing all of that automation and stuff, they do have just like a pluck knob, which is interesting, interesting, which is interesting. The only bad thing about it is you can't be as granular as you could just like automating filters and whatnot. And the lower you go down, the more exaggerated the pluck is. Now in here, we've got our unison tab, which has got some really cool stuff that is very unique to Harmer. But this is just the amount of voices in the order right here. This is for the panning. So the higher you go up, the more wide it is, the lower, the more mono it is. This pitch area right here is gonna determine how detuned it is. So all the way up, all the way down. Now this phase knob is really interesting. I only use it at two locations really. If you just want it to sound normal, keep it at the default spot. But if you bring it all the way up, it does this really cool like watery washed out effect. And if you go just below the center, it gives you this little, uh, like a little bit of attack to the unison. So like it'll start off not being unisoned. And then you've got a bunch of different modes, classic, blurred, uniform, and random. And those are just gonna give you slightly different tones. The only problem with uniform is sometimes you run into phase issues and it's not going to sound the same each time. A really interesting one is Hertz. It doesn't really sound good with a high amount of voices. But if you take it to like three voices and you leave the pitch down some and the phase down some. And some really interesting robotic type of sound to it. Now up here is your oscillators. You can choose between the saw wave or the square wave. Or you can choose to have a mix of both by turning this mix knob. So it kind of has the saw and the square more on a spectrum instead of just a saw or a square. And you can right click here and select analyze single cycle waveform to put in your own waveform that you want to do. And also when you right click that and if you don't want to load one, you can just draw in your own shape. And you see as we mess with this envelope section, it changes. <laughs> Then we've got this prism thing. I don't know what it does, and I don't like it. And 
it's probably cool for some dubstep bases or something but i pretty much don't touch that uh, i'm sure uh seamless or someone has a good description on what that is then we've got our harmonizer from what i can tell it sounds like it just pitches everything an octave up the higher you go on the width And this determines how loud those harmonics are, this uh, strength knob right here. Sometimes what I like to do is have the width really low and have the strength high, so those like low mid harmonics really come through. Now this is our vibrato section, which is basically just making the pitch do like this. Up and down, up and down we go. I'll pitch this up so you can hear it better. So depth all the way down. All the way up. And then you can mess with the speed. If you want to make something sound kind of lo-fi, you could have the speed really high and the depth lower. And then one really cool thing about this plugin is you have an A section and a B section which you can click between and you use this little part right here to determine how loud each section is. You use this, you toggle this on to activate the B section. So let's say you wanted one that is just a regular saw wave, but then on B, maybe you wanted some detune to it, and then you could change this to a high pass, and then that way you've got something wide on the B side while not interfering with the low end. And you can also right click any parameter and go to copy to part B if you just want to copy like the position of a filter or something like that. Then over here, you've got your little phaser. And this width knob is just like any other phaser. So you can mess with that and the speed to give you different effects. You can also change the waveforms of the phaser. Then we have an image tab where you can actually put images into there and mess with it, which would be a whole video on its own. So if you wanna see that, let me know. And then we've got our effects. So we've got distortion, chorus, delay, reverb, and compression. And these different distortion models can get really crazy. For example, cube is like ridiculous. Or if you want something that's more just saturating it, you can go to classic. And then this chorus works pretty much like any other chorus. Same thing with the delay and the reverb. One thing I will mention about the reverb is that they have different settings right here. For instance, F just means flat. And then we have B, which is bright. And then B plus, which is just extra bright. And then if you go up, you've got warm, and you go up one more, you got warm plus. Uh, this compressor is really nice, actually. I really like to do heating, and I turn the amount up all the way, and I turn up the mid some. But basically, that's just a multi-band compressor. So that's it for this. If you want to know more things about FL Studio, this is a clip from a longer video called The ABCs of FL Studio. You take it easy. Have a good day. Watch out for spiders. Ah!